Hey folks, the Comic Skid 2099 here, and as always on Saturdays, I'm here to talk about an episode of Batman the Animated Series. Today, I'll be talking about the episode titled The Mechanic. I will be spoiling things, so be careful if you continue listening to this video. But before I get into the review itself, I'll be summing up the plot briefly. Batman and Robin are chasing three of the Penguin's goons in the Batmobile, and while they get away, the Batmobile is severely damaged. Batman takes it to his ally Earl, a mechanic who we find out used to be an engineer for an auto company. Earl was going to blow the whistle on a plan by the higher-ups who were going to release a car that would endanger lives, and Batman saved him and later gave him his own garage. The Penguin finds out about Earl's relationship with Batman and forces him to sabotage the Batmobile so that he can kill Batman. His plan naturally backfires, and it's happy endings all around for Batman and Earl. Cue credits. Right off the bat, pun intended, my first thought, as I think the first thought of many is, was that this episode essentially takes one of the more asinine aspects of Batman Returns, that the Penguin was somehow able to gain control of the Batmobile and sabotage it, and builds an entire episode around it. And it works. Now, I'm not going to say that this episode is high art or anything, and like the episode of Batman Beyond I recently watched, Mind Games, the plot isn't especially deep or complex. The Batmobile is sabotaged and Batman has to survive it. And maybe it's because the insanity of Batman Returns was on my mind while watching this episode, but what plot we do have here is good. Like my creative writing professor used to say, keep it simple stupid. Don't overcomplicate things when simple works just as fine. Another thing that I liked about this episode is that it illustrates that Batman is about more than just punching bad guys. Here, he uses the wealth of Bruce Wayne to save the life of an innocent man who was only doing the right thing and was almost killed for his trouble. And from what it looks like in this episode, he continues to keep that guy in work with repairs on the Batmobile, as well as supplying him with a shop to work in. People who like to argue about which is the mask and which is the face in regards to Bruce Wayne and Batman, I think this episode refutes that argument on both sides entirely. Both sides are real, as we see here that he uses both aspects of his personality to help people. It may be that he's punching the Joker to stop him from poisoning the waterhole, or it may be that he employs a mechanic who is just trying to save lives. If you say that one side or the other, is somehow less real than the other, you discount the ways that he helps people with both aspects of himself. The villain of the piece, Penguin, isn't really anything special this time around. He was much more fascinating in Birds of a Feather, and I'm curious if this series will ever be able to get back to that version of the Penguin, or at least one that's as faceted as that version. This Penguin is about as dimensional as the one seen in I've Got a Batman in My Basement. There, he was just interested in stealing a really big diamond, and here he wants to kill Batman. Sure, his motivation makes a lot of sense, and it doesn't come out of nowhere. If you want to dabble in any level of crime in Gotham, and you have an opportunity to kill Batman, it makes sense that you would take that opportunity. But that doesn't change the fact that Penguin is about as single-minded here as he was when all he cared about was getting a really big diamond. Way back when I reviewed Christmas with the Joker, I mentioned that I didn't really feel like Robin had any business being in that episode. I don't dislike Robin, but this episode, like Christmas with the Joker, has Robin in the story where there's precious little reason for him to be here. This is a very small complaint, but it's so weird seeing any character in a story when they don't serve the story in some way. Earl is here to betray Batman and later to help Batman. Batman is here to almost get killed by the Penguin. Penguin is here to almost kill Batman. Earl's daughter is here to be kidnapped. But what is Robin here for? Again, this is a minor complaint, and I'm not really sure if I've even had this complaint since Christmas with the Joker. I'm certain this is something I'll mention again in the future, especially when I get into the episodes where the higher-ups force the people making the show to include Robin in every episode, even when they didn't want him in the episodes, but that is neither here nor there. That's about all I had to say about this episode. I really enjoyed this one, and I think the things that I did not like aren't big enough to mar the episode in any way. While I know it isn't, if this was the worst this series had to offer, I would be very understanding of the hype that has been built up around this series over the years. In any case, I hope that you guys liked this video, and if you did, then next week I'll be doing a similar review for an episode of Batman Beyond. And the week after that, I'll be talking about another episode of Batman the Animated Series. And I also do other kinds of videos throughout the week, so be sure to check those out. And if you did like this video, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. In the meantime, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Catch you later.